You were bragging on Friday about this one, Wackerty. Yeah, I had so much fun doing it. I'll tell you why. Because um, a, a lot of the emotions that I've been playing on have been of anger. And, 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 and you know, the, the, the crux of the call is how angry the person gets. Yeah. So I thought I'd play on a different emotion this mm. time. And, uh, well, it landed on my lap because I got this email from a group of people that listen religiously from Cape Town yeah. every morning over the internet. And uh, a lady called Roxanne, she is the daughter... Of uh, the certain subject who is going to be pranked today. Yeah. And the mother were conspiring for weeks on end, but they just didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So they just thought, well, let's just get in touch with old the Waxter and see if he has any ideas. And funnily so, enough, you did. Yes. Yeah, so I probed and I asked, okay, so what does your company do? Because they have a little family business, yeah. family business called Duraclean. Which is uh, the carpet cleaning business. Okay. Residential and uh, corporate carpet yeah. cleaning business. So I thought, well, I've got just the idea. Okay, Roxanne, that's my idea. What do you think of it? <laughs> we haven't encountered anything like this. So I think that's definitely making him stress a bit. Well, what type of person is he? Is he, is he quite a stressful? Very or? gentle, very gullible, you know. Um, not, not a person that really gets on his high horse. Make him panic, yeah. 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 Make him yeah. Hold on. <laughs> uh, hello, can I speak to Mr. Michael Favre, please? Yes, can you hold on? Thank you. Michael, hello. Mr. Favre, it's Detective Swanepoel here from Durbanville Police Station. Yes. Where were you on the 26th of May? Um, in Cape Town. Does a number two near Zerloch, Durbanville, make any uh, sense? Yeah. So you admit that you were at the premises? Yes. The lady of the house, a certain one, Mrs. Blash, is currently in our custody. Do you understand, sir? For what reason? Something very horrific took place on the Sunday at that house. Do you know that you cleaned up a crime scene? <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Straight in. <clears throat> so, what items did you clean up at that house? The, 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 the one carpet and the chair and um, the dine, um, lounge uh, suite. And did you not think that was just a little bit suspicious? That's quite normal in my job to do. I do it uh, from day to day. So, it seems to me that you very suspiciously cleaned up a crime scene. Not, not suspiciously cleans up. That's my line of business. That, that's my line of income. Um, and uh, my wife has been doing this for 24 years. And I came in as partner from, with her. Nice and dressing. we're running a legal business. Well, something very illegal, sir, happened in that very bedroom. Oh, shame. Okay, but th there weren't any um, blood stains. Is that because you are extremely good at your job, sir? Honestly, it's no time to brag about your competence. Uh, 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 um, uh, okay. Uh, no, exactly not. Are you aware that uh, Mrs. Tracy Slash is pregnant? Yeah, I saw that. And do you know that the father of that baby is not her husband? That I don't know. Um, she just said her uh, husband um, is coming home just soon and that's it. So it seems like the apparent motive for your involvement here is the fact that you are the father of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> uh, I haven't met the woman before Monday. Uh, the uh, uh, then uh, and, my, uh, and if she needed anything uh, ooh, because there's a baby on its way, the house clean of any dust mites and that kind of thing. So let me ask you, what were you going to name the baby? <laughs> I've got nothing to do with the baby. So we are looking for a guy that goes by the code name the Hout Bay Hoover Hitman. <laughs> do you own a Hoover, sir? I don't need to, the, the necessity of to telling you. Well, ballistics report shows that it was a Hoover and not a Kirby, as first suspected. <laughs> oh. Okay.
<laughs> so I'm done with this line of questioning at the moment. I'm going to put you through to my secretary who's going to take some more details. Can you do a speak or speak for me? Pa? Yeah? He's a fangbeer wackhead, man. Wack. Shame. Sure. Thanks, wackhead. Meneer for me. No, he was very nervous. And my mother actually sent me a message to say he's explaining it. They called me for a bad one, there. They said, make him panic. And you just did. I love the way you just went in what tish straight away. You clean up the crime scene. <laughs> You're the father of the child. <laughs> Yay!